Hey everyone, hope you're all well. Welcome back to our channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use some free AI tools that you can use to help develop and build your Shopify website. Um, AI has come a long way and there's so many things that you can use it for. Shopify itself uses AI to help build out your page, um, but there are also some other tools that you can use to help enhance your AI web your website with Shopify um, with AI. So let's get started. So how can you use AI tools in Shopify website development? Free AI tools are revolutionizing web creation and it lets you generate content, design layouts and optimize performance even without coding experience. Um, from brainstorming ideas to crafting engaging text and dazzling visuals as well, AI assistants have become your partners in building a beautiful and effective website. So some ways that you can help. First one is through website creation and design. So Shopify itself uses AI uh, to help you generate your website in the beginning. What it does is that it prompts you with different questions in terms of uh, what your business is, uh, what functionalities you're wanting to have uh, on your Shopify. So if you're wanting to incorporate um, different platforms for selling, um, so if you have, if you sell on different channels um, and also any other uh, functionality that you might require. And it will also prompt you for the different like themes that you might like for your website for your branding um, and we'll go over that today as well. You can also use uh, AI tools for content generation so in terms of your Shopify website you'll need content for your product descriptions and you will also need in general uh, website content as well on your home page, about page to keep users interested but also to help you rank on search engine results pages and this is where some content generation like Jasper, Copysmith or Writer AI come in and um, so we'll go over uh, Writer AI today. And lastly visual design, it's really important that you have good imagery across your website. Obviously you'll have imagery of your products but in terms of just some other custom imagery for across your website it may not be always readily available. This is where AI can come in as well. AI image generators have come a long way um, and we'll go over some of those today. But there's loads of aspects of website development, um, whether that's through Shopify or any other kind of website development where AI can come in and that's what we'll look at today. So what we're going to look at first is website creation and in terms of Shopify, essentially how to get started with Shopify. Um, and add and create your basic website. So you want to create a Shopify ID and you can do this with your email, um, you can do it with Facebook, Google, anything like that. Once you've signed up with through your preferred sign up method, Shopify will start by asking you about your business and about your brand. And this is just so that it can get help you get set up based on your own business needs. So it'll ask you if you are a uh, just starting up or if you're already selling online in person. And it's going to ask you where you'd like to sell. So you can sell on an online store. Um, you can also sell in person, social media. If you're not sure, there is an on, I'm not sure button. Um, in this example, we'll just stick to an online store. But you can cl click as many places as you want. And what do you plan to sell first? So these are the type of things that you want to sell in terms of, do you want to do job shipping products? Are they products um, yourself? Uh, any digital products, things like that. In this case, we'll just do products I make myself and just click next. And then you just want to make sure that you signed into the account, okay. So once you have your account set up, it'll show you the Shopify dashboard and it's from here you can see a checklist of what you need to do and on the left is where you'll manage everything. So everything is separated, your orders have their own tab, your products have their own tab, your customer list have their own tab, analytics content, they all have their own tab. So it makes it really easy to kind of manage everything as well. There's different ways to go from here. You can either start by adding your products um, or you can customize your online store. We'll start by adding the products We can go through the setup guide. To start adding products, you can either click on the add product here in the setup guide or you can go directly into the products tab and you can see basically all the products that you'll have to sell. Right now there's not any uh, and currently, but once you add products, it'll show up in this products dashboard. So we're going to click on add your products. 
and you want to basically just type in all the product details and everything's really uh, front end friendly it's very straightforward it's labeled exactly where you need to write things so your title is here description here media files all in here so you just want to go through each of these fields and just type in all of the uh, product information basically to add video files or image files you want to just click on add files and it'll open up the file explorer from your library and you just want to click on uh, the image that you want to add and you can add more than one images if you wanted to you can give a paragraph here and it'll basically just type in a product description you can also generate text as well so this is using Shopify's own AI and you can basically just ask it to write a product description And you basically just type in the features and the keywords, the tone of voice, um, and any special instructions as well. So for example, place some words with emojis. And you can basically just get Shopify to essentially write all of your uh, product descriptions. And then you can decide if you want to keep it and you can edit it as well. Then you want to give the pricing. And this is just the normal pricing of the product. And then you want to just, if you want to make it a sale item, you can do a compare app price. So um, this basically will show up as a sale item, it'll show up with the old price scored with the new price um, beside it as well. Next you want to give the uh, quantity and this is if you want to track your quantity so you make sure you're not sh selling more than what um, you actually have. So if you type in 50 here you can decide if you want to continue selling one out of stock or if not. Then you want to go into variants and this is where you can add uh, different variations of your product. So if your product comes in different sizes or for different colors then you can add that as a variant and that way people can select the size or color that they want and it just means then you can set different um, pricing for those sizes and it means you can select different uh, inventory options for those sizes as well. So in this product for example we'll have different sizes so I'm going to click on add variant I'm going to click on size and I'm going to do um, And you just each add each of the values um, one by one and just click done. And then down here you can basically add different pricing for each of them and you can add different availability. So maybe there's 12 of this size, only 5 of this size and maybe 20 of this size. Lastly you want to make sure that everything is uh, SEO optimized. So you want to make sure it has a page title, it has a description and it has a good URL handle as well. And then you want to look at the product organization. So the product organization part of Shopify basically allows you to uh, add filter and customization options and just means then uh, when you are building your pages, you can have a page dedicated to a particular category. So you can have a category for uh, men's shoes or shoes. And then you can type in a new collection. So we can talk about, uh, we can call it men's. And click on create collection. You want to make sure that you have the collection saved, but you can have a collection for men's. And you can decide if you want to add the products manually or automatically whenever people are creating it. And now if you go back to products, we can have that um, set up here. And then once you're done, you just want to click on save. And then you, when you go back to the products page, you can see the products all lined up here. If you go back to home, it'll give you next steps on what you should do. So we have our first product. Next thing we want to do is customize our online store. And this is everything up to choosing a theme, adding your own logos, colors, and images to reflect your brand. So we're going to click on customize theme. And this is this theme here. So by default, we get the Dawn theme. Um, it's a really good theme, min clean, minimalistic theme. But what you can do is change the theme using the theme, li theme library. So there's a bunch of free themes here as well and you can decide early on if you want to use this theme or not. Um, it's really important that you choose the theme early on and make sure that you have the logo and you have the colors all set up because it just means you can visualize your site a lot better. 
When selecting a Shopify theme, you want to consider factors like your brand identity, target audience, desired features, and budget. So take the time to explore different themes, read reviews, and preview demos to find the one that best suits your business needs and aesthetic preferences as well. Once you have a theme picked out, you want to click on Customize to start cu uh, customizing um, things like colors and site settings as well as homepage changes as well. When it comes to editing the theme, you can. there's lots of things that you can edit with the actual theme customizer here. However, for a more custom option, you would need to look into the liquid theme development for Shopify. But the first thing that you want to do is go into theme customizer and you want to go into theme settings. And here you can add in the logos, you can add in the different colors um, and typography as well. And you can give basically layouts um, spacing as well. So it just means then you have the theme of your website looking exactly how you want it to look like. And just means the overall website aesthetic matches your brand exactly. When, as you make changes, um, you just want to make sure that you click save on everything. Um, it's important to note that you won't be able to um, you won't be able to uh, customize everything. If you want it more custom, then uh, you would need to look into uh, editing the theme files using Liquid. Once you have your theme customized, you want to make sure that you have other correct pages. So we, by default, you have your home page, but um, and you have a contact page. You can also add a page for your collections. So we have a men's collection. So we're going to call it men's, um, which is already collection. And we want to add maybe like an about us page. And you want to make sure that there's an about us page template here, and then you can add the content here and then just click on save. Next thing you want to organize navigation. So this is just making sure that the uh, menu is in the order that you want it. So we have the home, catalog, and contact, and you can decide if you want to add a new menu item, um, in which case you can go into pages and you can see we've made the Abide Us page. So we're going to just add in the Abide Us page and just click on add. And we're going to change the order of it slightly as well. And just click on save. So you can navigate everything through here, online store and nav navigation. And you can decide if you want your custom domain. So this is our current domain. And as you can see, it's not very user friendly. It's not easily rememberable. It's not great for SEO. So you want to make sure that you have a custom domain. Um, and you can do that through Spotify as well. If you click on add domain, you can search for a new domain or you can add a con existing domain that you already own. So you have your uh, account set up, you have the theme that you want, it's customized, you know how to set up products. The last thing that you want to do is pick a plan um, for your website. As you know, so you have a free trial of three days and then you can test out one of the plans for as little as three pounds a month um, for three months. And then after that, you would need to either choose a pay plan and pay it in full, or you can decide if you, whether or not for Shopify is something worth paying for or not. To se select a plan, there should be a call to action on the dashboard here, and you can see a list of all of the plans that, that Shopify have. So there's basic, Shopify, and advanced. Um, the advanced plan starts at 259. You have the Shopify that starts at 49, which is uh, one of the more popular plans, and then you have the basic plan. The main difference between all of these are the transaction fees that um, Shopify charge. So the more advanced your plan is, the lower your fees are, and the more basic your plan is, the higher your fees are. You can pay as much as 2% on fees and as little as 0.5% for all third-party payment pro providers. And then the other main difference is the uh, these features here, so the uh, number of staff members that you can have as accounts, how many locations, and then uh, how advanced your reporting is. What's really good about Shopify is that they do give you that three month, essentially a three-month trial where you can decide if you want to stick with using maybe an advanced plan or if you realize actually advanced there's too many features that you don't need um, and then you can downgrade to a more basic plan or if you're on a basic plan and you try it for three months and you think actually I need something a bit higher it just means then you have plenty of time to choose exactly what plan would be best for you and make that decision as well.
that we've looked at some platforms for actually building a website, let's take a look at some AI tools. So how do AI tools help with web creation? Free AI tools are revolutionizing web creation, letting you create generate content, design layouts, and optimize performance, even without any coding experience. So from brainstorming ideas to crafting engaging texts and dazzling visuals, AI assistants become your partners in building a beautiful and effective website. So here's how free AI tools can help you build a website and some of the best options available. The first part it can help you with is website creation and design. So platforms like Jimdo and like the Wix ADI can really help you with the actual uh, building part of your website. So essentially, these AI platforms will ask you a little bit about the web type, type of website and the type of business that you have and the type of website you're trying to create, um, the type of functionalities that you want and the themes and color palettes that you like the most. And they'll essentially create a website for you. Um, so for example, with Wix ADI, it's a free AI website builder and it guides you through a simple questionnaire to create a personalized website with tailored designs and features. And Jimdo is another friendly one um, and it offers sleek templates, mobile optimized design and basic e-commerce functionality. And it uses AI to basically build your website for you. And all you need to do afterwards is customize it and change it uh, to fine tune everything that you need. The next way it can help you is with content generation. So when it comes to uh, website content, um, there's a lot of written content that you might need, for example, for blog posts, even in general for your website marketing, social media caption, website content, loads of AI tools out there that can help you with this and we'll, we'll go over some of them today. And visual design, and this is mainly referring to um, imagery so imagery is really important for your website but nowadays it's hard to get it might be hard uh, for you to get professional images for your website uh, maybe it might be too time consuming or if you're a new business you may not have the budget for it nowadays there are so many ai image generators that you can use um, that can help you generate high quality images that are relatable to your website but are copyright free and free for you to use as well so we'll go over some ai image generators as well so the first part we're going to go over is website creation and design. And let's have a look at Jimdo. So Jimdo is another user-friendly AI website builder, it has a free plan, it offers sleek templates and mobile optimized designs, basic e-commerce functionality and things like that. So let's get started. The next platform, um, AI platform that you can use for website creation is the Wix ADI. And this is a free AI website builder and it guides you through a simple questionnaire to create a personalized website with tailored designs and features as well. It's great for beginners who want a quick and easy solution. So let's get started with Wix ADI as well. So now let's take a look at content creation. Um, as mentioned before, there's loads of content that you need to generate for your website in order, in order for it to engage users and also help it mark, uh, rank on social media or search engine results pages. The first one that we're going to look at is Writer. So Writer is a really cool AI tool. Um, what it does is it can help you with your website content creation, um, especially it does have a free plan as well. It, you can generate really diverse content, including uh, website copy. Um, so things like even ha catchy headlines, meta descriptions, product descriptions, landing page copy, even FAQs with various tones and formats. Um, you can get a jumpstart on your blog post outlines, introductions, conclusions, even bullet point for key takeaways as well. So it helps with your blog posts. It can also help with social media posts as well. So you can craft really engaging captions for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and more um, to kind of ensure that consistent brand voice across platforms. Um, and that's actually, while that's not really that important for your website content in general, um, it's good for website marketing because once your website is launched, you want to be able to get it uh, attract users. And one of the best ways to do that is with uh, social media posts as well. So it's a really cool uh, tool and it's really widely used as well. So this is their pricing. And while the free plan is a great starting point, um, the paid plans offer more features like longer content, um, generation, different play, uh, languages and plagiarism checks as well. Um, but in general, with the free plan, um, you have 10 characters uh, generated per month. You have access to over 40 uses cases. Uh, you can write in 30 different languages. 
um, and you can generate up to five images as well so we can help you with that um, consider upgrading if you need more functionality but the free plan is actually not too bad um, it allows you to generate about 5,000 characters of content it's that's roughly equivalent to about two or three short blog posts um, in terms of limitations compared to their paid plan, the 5,000 characters per month might not be enough for extensive website content needs and you won't have access to all the content formats and tones available. Um, but it's a great way to check out Writer, try it, see if it fits your needs um, and you can generate basic content for your website like headings or short product descriptions and you can get uh, inspiration and overcome your writer's block as well if that's something that you are uh, struggling with as well. Um, so yeah, Writer is a good one to stick with and to give a go as well. Next up we have visual design and this is referring uh, mainly to images. So it's really important to have engaging images on your website. Um, when it comes to Shopify websites, you'll mainly have images of your products. Um, any other type of websites, you'll have web um, images um, to help attract you, um, keep your uh, customers engaged and rely a uh, tone of your website as well but sometimes images aren't always um, custom images aren't always easy to come by so that's where AI image generators come in so using AI tools for web creations offers a plethora of benefits catering to both beginners and seasoned users as well some key advantages is um, that you can break through creative blocks um, AI can offer unexpected ideas and suggestions, sparking, sparking new angles and approaches to your website content and design. It can help reduce costs because you aren't hiring an external developer, designer. You can use some of the free tools that are available to generate your content, to generate your website and things like that. And it kind of lowers the entry barriers. so. For example, because we're not using any kind of coding for a website, um, it just means then that AI web creation is even more accessible, even for those with limited coding knowledge or design expertise. And you can generate uh, draft content really quickly, as we've seen through tools like Writer. Um, it, it gives us a good starting point for our content, whether that's for our blogs, uh, product descriptions, and things like that. Um, just remember though that AI is not a magic bullet and successful website creation still requires human input and expertise, but by leveraging benefits of AI tools, you can streamline your workflow, enhance your creativity and build a website that effectively engages your audience and achieves your business goals as well. And that's it. I hope that you find that uh, this video interesting and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to view more of our content as well. We're always posting videos um, all about website development and how to further enhance your website development as well. Um, so be sure to like and subscribe for more. Um, if you enjoyed this video, leave us a comment in, in the section below. And if there's anything else you'd like us to cover, um, let us know. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.